Hey cuties and welcome back to my channel. So as per usual this is a thrift haul. So I'm going to get straight in and show you a few things. Um, firstly I picked up these silver PVC vinyl trousers. They're really cute and they're really good quality. These are from Topshop. There are there are like a waist 25 and a leg 30 so they're way too small for me and um, they're like a jean style I just wish these fitted me because I love them but I am going to be listing these on my Depop so if there's any 90s club kids out there that would like these hit me up so yeah um, I paid 150 for those and then also to resell I picked up these dead stock the zippers, dead stock dickies, um, these are in green and I noticed on Depop these sell really well for like the Mulgoff sort of alternative grungy look and I paid £2 for those and they're brand new, they're a size waist 42, I have tried them on so they're like super baggy on me so I'm not going to keep them but yeah there might be somebody out there that would love to rock these Dickies work pants. And what I did pick up for me was this. Funny enough, a few weeks ago I was looking on boohoo.com and I came across this jacket and I was going to buy it. I think it was around 35. Good job I didn't because I found it. This snake print biker style jacket. You guys, it's still new tags, so it's like proper from Boohoo, but the original price, whoever had it as a gift, must have took it off. They were trying to sell it for £10, they couldn't sell it, so it went down to 6 in the charity shop, and I was like, yay, it's mine. I love it, it goes with my makeup, don't you think? How cute is that? I'm so glad I didn't buy it. It's made from like a really lightweight material, and the other one I looked at like this was like a, a fake leather. This is ideal for fall. I'm going to wrap that with my um, leather trousers or maybe my PVC ones. Who knows? Um, also, for a while, I've been looking to get a top like this um, because I think something similar. The coil, the coil twins have one in one of their videos. It's this basic um, long sleeve top, and it has this O-ring. Bear with me. Like this little o ring. It's so 90s. Oh my god, I'm so glad I found it. And it's my size. It's black with this right white pinstripe through the middle. And this guy's was four pounds. Yay. I'm loving it. And then I picked up this. This is like a bat wing. But it's open. It's like a bat wing and it's a little shawl. So yeah, I can fly away with this. Woo, do a Lenny Travics fly, fly, fly away. And this was a steal, you guys. It was $3.99, but it went down to 99p. How cute. So I've got a bit of washing to do. I need to wash that shit. And I picked up these cute little brown ankle boots they're really light they still have quite a lot of wear obviously I'm going to disinfect them like I do all of them so yeah I picked those up for um three pounds they're gonna look really cute on my skinnies um, and then I picked up some wool this turquoise one which is thin and I picked up this it kind of looks like dreads already lime green so i'm thinking of making some wool dreads because i do like hair pieces and for these two which they're only like half rolls maybe quarter rolls i paid 95p for and then i picked up this ivy stencil for 50p there is ivy stenciled on the doors in my porch that was there when i first came in and this looks to be the identical identical stencil that they used because i've looked at this and looked at the doors so what I might do with this is stencil some poison ivy down the legs of some of my 
fake leather trousers or maybe down the arms of a fake leather jacket with like acrylic paint or spray paint maybe and uh, so yeah I'm gonna try that and then I picked up this PVC wallet oh my god the nostalgia when I picked this up in the charity shop because this is the exact same one that I had in the 90s I couldn't believe it it was only a pound so I just felt like my teen baby back off days came back again as soon as I picked this up so I am going to just step wipe this and I'm going to be using this straight after this video so yay and then you know me an animal pattern today I've got some zebra it's a little zebra picture frame someone's painted it and that was 75p I'm not sure what I'm going to put in there yet but I'm sure something's going to go in there so I'm not sure what these are but to me they look like little curtain poles they're 50p and the reason I bought them because they look like curtain poles when I make some gothic curtains for the doll's house I can use these as doll's house curtain poles so yeah so there's two in there they only cost 50p so yeah I just need to make some curtains well the DIY doll's house need working on all around so I don't know maybe that's my winter project and heading back to the 90s when everyone had like stars and moons in their bedroom either green with gold stars and moons or blue with gold stars and moons and everyone went for like the moon or the sun tattoo this necklace is so 90s this little choker and it was 99p oh my god I'm living for the 90s lately because that was when I found myself that's when this weirdo got weirder okay this is so 90s as well the jumper I have on can you believe it's the end of July and I have to wear a jumper because my fat ass is freezing never mind and look it's a Egyptian cap with an onk and I have a collection of these but they're all black You've heard of like black sheep in the family. Well, I've got a white cat in the family now because this is going to be the odd one out. But how cute. I couldn't leave it. It's going to like to put amongst all those black cats that I keep on top of the fridge. And you guys, it was only two pounds. Oh my God, I'm in love. I'm just so obsessed with this cat at the moment. And now we have a pair of witch's shoes. Oh my God, look at those. Those were a pound for the pair. They're black witch's shoes. They're quite like vintagey, you know. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. Are you ready, boots? Keep walking. So yeah, for a pound. And now I picked up some books. Yeah, we buy books now. We're adults. So it was like three for ninety nine p, but I really wanted this one. It's this old book and it smells old and look you guys the line it looks like Chanel how cute so the book is the food of the gods by H H G Wells and it came like Herbert George Wells um, from 1866 to 1946 so yeah it's a really old book and it smells old I love it you can have this little dust cover and in the back it even has the little form to be put on their mailing list back in the day. How cute. So that's going to go on my bookcase. So as I said it was 3 for 99p. So I picked up two more uh, to make the 99p. And these ones I picked up R.L. Stein Goosebumps TV Special. This one has two. Welcome to Camp Nightmare. Piano Lessons Can Be Murder. And that was originally like £2. <laughs> in the charity shop but obviously when they came out knew they were like 4 99 a book and this one has like these little 3d um sticker things inside so i'm not sure i have a friend that likes goosebumps so these might be sent their way and the second one which they had listed for a pound in the charity shop and again if you bought it new in the uk it would have been 4 99 this one is my hairiest adventure and it came from beneath the sink but this one doesn't have 
no 3D stickers. But anyhow, we got that. And then I found this. I love the colour. The, the colour. The cover. I can't speak. The Bleak Midwinter. Oh my god, even the title sounds great. So I want to read this. And I paid a pound for this one. Singly from a different charity shop. But how could I not resist the title on that cover? Yes, I'm one of those basic bitches that judge a book by its cover. Get over it. But the cover's so cute. And now we're on some DVDs. So I picked up Mean Creek, which I've seen a few years ago. Rewatched it since I bought it. And yes, this one was 50p. Well, they were 50p each or three for a pound. So I have this one. Coraline, which I already have. I picked it up for a friend, which I'm going to send it his way. And I picked up Goodwill Hunting with Matt Damon, Ben Affleck and Robin Williams, which I can't remember if I have it, but if I don't, then I, I obviously have it now. But if I do have it, then it'd be redonated. So, yeah, those were three for a pound. Um, and then I picked up something to talk about with um, Dennis Quinn and Julie Roberts. Someone obviously bought it from Morrison's back like a few years ago for two quid. I paid a pound. It's still new and sealed. So, yeah, I want that to go with my Julie Roberts collection. And then I picked up this Confidence Man. It is not that good. It was only 50p, so that's going to be redonated. And then I picked up, for a friend of mine, I need to send his way because I already own Crimson Peak. And that was a pound. I really like the fact that they used the old Amari Royal Crown Derby tea sets in this. Oh my god, how gothic is that? I love it. So yeah, my friend's going to be pleased with that. And then I picked up this picture frame that holds three photos. It's a black one. It was only £2. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in there yet. Whether I'm going to put yours truly or three of my phases in here. Or whether I'm going to put some extra pound pictures in there. I'm not too sure. But yeah, for £2 I couldn't leave it. And that was about it. I have done a haul on my um, Facebook. Um showing you um food and drink um also poundland hall tk max primark my halloween sticker hall halloween slash gothic sticker hall that's been on there i've also did a video of what i had to eat the other night um which is on my facebook i told you guys i'm facebooking all the time so that gets updated mainly i also did a video on my face mask on facebook my new chanel one obviously i bought it brand new i put it in a wash first is on this rack if i can get it oh yay you guys know i love chanel so this is my new chanel face mask i got that from uh, birmingham obviously it was brand new i put it for the washer first before i used it because so i do that with new and new stuff i always wash so yeah i got it for five pound reduced from 6.99 and i've also washed oh let's see that t-shirt I got from TK Maxx and this was on sale. It should have been 10. I love the colours. How cute. That should have been 10 and it went down to 6. As I said, even though it was new, I still washed it. As I do with everything. Um, and there's a few other things. Obviously, they're all over the place. But yeah, I hope you guys are staying safe. And are you digging my makeup and my little 90s hair clips today? Oh, and guess what, you guys? I bleached the roots. Just need a bit more in the front because it's a little bit coppery, but the rest, I'm platinum. I don't mean I'm stupid because my blood come out of a bottle, bitch. <laughs> so yeah, that's my little haul. Till next time, take care of you guys. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe because I'd love to hear from you guys. And yeah, go follow me on Facebook. I'm active on there most of the time, but 90% of what I post is friends only. And I have an Instagram, same name as my YouTube. Very rarely on there because I just don't know what I'm doing. So bye guys, love all you guys. Take care. Till next time. Bye bye. Stay freaky.